Hey guys, Sam here, founder of Life's Secret Thoughts, where we teach young, motivated professionals how to fast track their career using the skills they should have learned in school, like interview skills, handshakes, and how to have a conversation, rather than making giant heads out of paper mache. Because nothing is safer than a bunch of second graders and boiling glue and paper and putting that whole thing together. But then the best part, when they get to bring that giant head home to mom, and she looks at it and says, wow, that's interesting. But anyway, today I'm here to talk to you about introductions. I don't know when the head nod became the way of saying, I see you over there, but I really don't have anything to say. But if you're really looking to actually meet people and make friends, then the head nod, it's just not going to cut it. I get it. It wasn't all that long ago that we were all told, don't talk to strangers. But now I make a living teaching others how to do exactly that. Hopefully Big Bird and Elmo don't get too mad at me. I am a firm believer that strangers are simply friends that we haven't quite met yet. So rather than the generic half wave or the infamous head nod, I'm going to give you 10 simple ways to say hello and help to kickstart a conversation. Here we go. Number one. Hello, I'm Sam. It's nice to meet you. This simple greeting is friendly, polite. It's not overzealous. It won't offend anyone. It's pretty generic, but if you say it cheerfully, then it makes the other person feel great. Number two. Hi, my name's Sam. What's yours? This works well if you're time crunched, like in an elevator. It's friendly, but gets the point across. And it also takes all the pressure off the other person of thinking of what they need to say back to you. I mean, hopefully they remember their own name, right? Number three. Sam, it's nice to meet you. This method conveys confidence and power and works best if you're in a position of authority. It's not as welcoming and lighthearted, but it's still friendly. Using this greeting displays a sense of urgency and time constraints, or you have to get back to important business. Or maybe you just want to sound like the boss. Number four. Welcome to my kitchen. I'm Sam, or wherever place you are. If you're hosting an event, whether in your home or in your office or a public venue, this is a great choice. If you use uh, an invitation to a place and then your name, it solidifies that you are the host and the go-to person should there be any further questions. Number five. Great day for a common activity. I'm Sam. If you're enjoying any activity, such as walking the dog, riding the bike, spending some time on the beach, you're often going to see other people particip participating in the exact same activity. So use this common ground as an icebreaker. Once a common interest is discovered by both parties, you're likely to become more comfortable and it'll be easier to start a conversation. Number six. Hey, how are you? I'm Sam. This informal greeting is probably the most common greeting used by young adults right now, especially as I pass neighbors and coworkers that they should probably know better than they actually do. The second section, in the part including your name, is the part that's often forgotten. And by leaving out your name, you give permission for your neighbor to also leave out their name. And what this can lead to is two people who know each other way better than they should without knowing each other's name. And then you get to that awkward point where you know each other too well and you can't ask anymore. If you suck at remembering people's names, don't worry, it's perfectly common and we've got a video on that as well. Number seven. Hi, I'm Sam. I don't think we've met yet. Sometimes being straightforward and to the point is the best way to go. You might not know each other, or maybe you do, but this breaks the ice and you can learn each other's names and what you do for a living or what you guys like to do for fun. Breaking the ice this way is also a lot of fun if you have met before because it allows the other person to jog your memory and remind you of when your last meeting was. Number eight. Hi, nice bag. I'm Sam. Or you can insert any compliment that you want to right there. I love starting conversations with compliments. It's disarming and puts people in a great mood. It also gives you material to continue the conversation on whatever that subject is that you gave a compliment for. Pick a compliment that allows you to expand the conversation. 
For example, if you know about fashion, then you can compliment their outfit, and then you can continue the conversation all about fashion. Make sure you're sincere and genuine, and make sure that your compliment is specific. Number nine, insert an observation followed by, I'm Sam, by the way. This greeting comes off very aloof and unplanned, which works well for those first time meetings with people who maybe you've seen before, but you haven't actually met. For example, those dogs sure do like chasing that tennis ball. I'm Sam, by the way. What's your name again? And number 10. Hi, I'm Sam, and I really like singing off key to songs really loud in the shower, or anything else that you like to do or you're really good at. This is the perfect greeting when you have those awkward moments when you're told to go ahead and stand up and introduce yourself and tell everyone what you like to a group. Don't go with a joke or attempt a witty line. Just say hello and have a prepared answer so you're not caught off guard or turned into a mumblosaurus rex. Try anything. Hi, I'm Sam and I like finger painting. Might be a bit different, but they'll remember you. There you have it. 10 different scripts you can use to introduce yourself to anyone, anywhere, anytime. The more confident you are in your introductions, the more charismatic and magnetic you'll be. So be prepared with multiple introductions and you'll rock any situation. But that's all for today. So if you're ready to start meeting new people who can open doors you didn't even know existed so you can start your career and grow a massive network, then it's time to unleash your inner awesome and master the new rules of communication. Click the link below to get started and discover how you can unleash your inner awesome. Please let us know your thoughts, like, comment, and share. It only takes a second for you, but it means the world to us. And of course, click subscribe down in the corner so you never miss another video again. Ciao for now.